much for being here. Oh, thanks for that's having us. Enthusiasm. Ben, yes. you talk to me. Okay. Because fine. I heard something interesting. Talk to me. Oh, that's what I'm literally okay. here to do. Yeah. I heard something fascinating. Okay. Is it true that you went to Disneyland for the first time ever, literally right before you came here? Sort of. <laughs> Guys, I gotta tell the story. Okay. Uh, and it was my first time since I was like four or something. Doesn't like count. You couldn't form it. It was memories. my son's first time, Ooh. and it was my daughter's first time, and it was my wife's first time, I think, um, and it was exhausting. And, and I'm here, and I'm literally the only reason I'm awake is because of the loud uh, audience. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> was, was there anyone in your life that really loves Disneyland that would have like really loved to get an invite? Like to that somebody day? who has like almost a, almost a fetish level. Almost love? a fetish level. If you know her social media, you know that she's always at Disneyland yeah. and would have yeah, yeah. killed to maybe just get an invite. I feel bad about this, obviously. <laughs> It's like a personal attack. <laughs> that level. So, Lauren, what I love about you is you started from very humble beginnings, yeah. but you don't quite reference it like that. Sure. What do you say? I am I'm pure trailer trash. Like, just pure. <laughs> I don't feel like I could have said that. You know what? That's okay. But it's okay if I say it about myself. Yeah, it's pure trash. Yeah. Is that what they say in Canada? Is there a Canadian term for it? A Canadian term for it? Yeah. Oh, it's just old trailer trash. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Fellow Canadian. Yeah. Hey. about your life that proves this point? Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing is I have driven the same car for the past about seven years. I've dinged it, people have sideswiped me, like the, the blinker, gl the glass that covers the blinkers all smashed. In the seven years, I think I've owned it. I, I'm not exaggerating when I say I've washed it three times. Oh, three times. It is, full of tra it is full of trash, full of garbage. Um, people now on the show, like Nico on the show, he was like, it's season five. I know how much <laughs> He's like, it's, it was cute for four seasons, so like but now you, it's it's becoming a problem. When you go on a date, like, what do you do? Like, I don't drive if I go on a date. Yeah, I guess I'm going to get loaded on that date. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dumb question. Man. I love this about you. You know what else is awesome is that, Lauren, you have a podcast, and it's called Giving It Up For Less, yes. where you talk, yeah, yeah. you talk pretty extensively about your ex-boyfriends, yeah. and you're pretty open about it. Yeah, yeah. Are they typically OK with that? <laughs> well, we're going to find out, aren't we? Um, <laughs> You know, it's funny because I, yeah, in the moment, I, we recorded a lot of these, like, ages ago, and they're just coming out now, and so I'm realizing that I'm, like, telling these stories where I'm referring to my boyfriend, but I'm not with that boyfriend anymore, and then I'm like, do I, do I address this on Twitter? And then it's like, how desperate does that look? Like, <laughs> don't worry, men. If you're interested, I'm still available. Um, uh, but then there was one story, and I don't know whether, he, he wanted me to tell it at first and then didn't want me to tell it. Uh, it was the first time, I had been kind of dating this person, but it was the first time he was spending the night at my house. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was very boring. Anyway, <laughs> so I had to get up very early to go work on our show the next day. And so I was asleep, but he's a night owl. He couldn't sleep. And he didn't want to go outside because he didn't know if he was going to set off the alarm for the house. And so he had to vape. Obviously. Wait, is this um, the one I, do I know this one? I don't know. Okay. So no, he. This person. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Uh, we'll yeah talk, then I know exactly. You know exactly who this okay. is. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> the only person who so he chooses to vape in the bathroom. In the everywhere. Yeah. There you go. So he, well, he did. But yeah. So he goes into my bathroom and he's vaping. And then shocker, the uh, the fire alarm goes off. <laughs> and I wake up and I'm like, oh my god, like what's going on? And I'm like running into the living room and he's like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know. And I was like, I turn off the alarm and I'm like, dude, it's fine. I just I gotta get back to sleep. I gotta be up in like three hours. So I go back to sleep, and then about 15 minutes later, there's this boom, boom, boom on the door. I open my eyes, sirens, lights, there is five fire trucks. I, I'm in a crop top and underwear. I open the door, and there's just like 15, of course, Hollywood firefighters, so just gorgeous. <laughs> It was like a dick wolf. And they're like, so. ma'am, we need to look around the premises. Like, they come in, and I'm like, I don't know what's happening. And then the first guy's all business. He's like, here's a, here's a fun fact, viewers. If you have a security system and your fire alarm goes off and you don't call them, they assume you're burning alive. Yeah. So they send the firefighters anyway. So he informed me of that, and I was like, I'm so sorry, I didn't know. And then the second dude just wants to talk shop, and he's like, I mean, was there also another house on this property? That house on the burned down? And I'm like, I don't know, man. Are you are you still in your underwear? I'm literally in a crop top and underwear, okay. and I'm just like, I feel Chatting. exposed. Also, homeboy is hiding under the duvet in my bed. <laughs> just like, not, nah, not gonna go out. Um, but anyway, I've told that story, and I don't know whether he wants me to tell it, but no, Frank, I mean, stop telling he doesn't have a television, so. He definitely does not. You know? <laughs> He definitely does not own a television. Oh my god, so you were in your underwear and a crop top and yeah. 15 firemen knocked on your door. Listen, I've seen that movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds like a 
dream. <laughs> Sounds like a dream. Not the worst.